The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. The Friar, a man of God who lives upon donations, he listens to people's confessions and gives them their penance, for he is qualified to hear confessions, or so he said. The Friar is highly educated and speaks as such, woe well, so glib with gallant phrase and will turn speech. He loves to talk to people and enjoys good conversation. He loves what he does, and he enjoys helping. However, he does wish for more in his life. He gives a lighter penance to those who have money. Therefore, instead of weeping and of prayers, one should give a silver a poor friar's care. The friar is more familiar with the rich, and he seeks a profit for his time. The friar is described as having a lily white neck. He was a wanton one and merry. He is a very festive fellow. The host, a man of considerable kindness. He is a natural leader and is the man who organized the pilgrimage. He is a well-respected man in his community. There is no finer burges in Cheapside. He is the one that came up with the idea to have each member of the pilgrimage tell two stories along their journey. The host was not a shy man by any means. He loves to talk and is good at public speaking. He always knows what to say. Bold in speech yet wise and full of tact. He is a polite and merry-hearted man. The host loves the role of leadership and wants to be in charge. He is a polite and generous host to his guests. He feels that people should listen to him and do what he says. Promise to submit yourselves to me, playing your part exactly as I say. The host is a nice looking man. His eyes were bright, his girth was a little wide. He is fit to be a marshal. He is well dressed in fancy apparel. He looks like a natural born leader. This presentation was written and directed by Sterling Bowers, Brendan Croft, Josh Saunders, and Brock Havens.